Hi guys, Pete from placemacutter.co.nz. Just a little video about placement cutter standoff guide. Hi guys, just a little video about the uh, plasma cutter standoff torch guide. Um, here we have a, uh, a standard AG60 torch. Um, just your receptacle there for your uh, consumables. And then we'll uh, we'll put the electrode, screw the electrode in. These actually screw in instead of pushing like the uh, LG40 ones are a little bit different. And then we'll put the uh, cutting tip in. Now with these, like with the likes of the uh, with the AG60 torch, it, you screw the um, screw the ceramic on there, and then if you notice on the ceramic, we have a a little channel cut in here, like so, and then these have the uh, advantage of having a standoff guide, which is just a little wire guide here. Quite simple really, and all you do is just put that on there like so and push that in until it locates into the little into the little hole there. And what this does, the guide, this is still an HF start torch, which means that it's not pilot art, which means that it still has to touch whatever you're cutting. It has to touch the metal plate to get your arc to come through because you put your earth clamp on your metal plate. And um but it's very, um, it's very close. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that, the tip is almost touching. So you're still making an arc to the plate you're cutting. But the advantage of this is, you can steal your torch a bit better. You can, you can guide it around, and you have a whole lot more control because you're not, you're not pivoting on the, on the, on the cutting head. You're not, you're not pivoting on the, um, on the torch tip. So you've got all this, all this area here to give you more stability and you can actually steer the torch. And they're very, very easy. They're very, very quick replacements in that and they're really good. That's clip on and off. And uh, yeah, makes the cutting a whole lot easier because it also holds your torch out the exact distance from the work you're cutting. So you're not getting so much blowback and all the rest of it. Whereas if you're using a uh, one without the... Um, Without the standoff guides, like for example this torch here, that doesn't have the facility for the standoff guide, you're pivoting on the end of your cutting tip for a start, and you've got to manually hold it, the distance between your work that you're cutting and the torch. And I don't know how good you are, but I'm not th that good at it. And if you touch it, it'll burr the end of this, of your cutting tip, and it will basically bugger your cutting tip instantly, or it'll blow out to one side and it won't cut straight, and, and it does all sorts of horrible stuff. So, uh, so I like the uh, standoff guides; they're really good. They're cheap, and they just give you more control over what you're cutting. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you need to buy any, any one of these or anything like that, just click the links and below, and uh, there'll be a link there for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope it wasn't too boring. See you next time. Thank you.